gotten on the Weasley. It's Levioso. Oh, oh Levioso. Stop. Uh, uh. <laughs> yeah. Huh? Oh, yeah. Good. We haven't missed the sorting ceremony. I'm no expert, but that seems more appropriate. Now, I need to study this locket as soon as I can, but first I must contact the Ministry. They need to know what happened to George and be warned of Ranrock. For the moment, I ask that you keep all that's happened this evening between you and me. Of course, sir. Thank you. Ready for the sorting ceremony? I just missed a whole lot of dialogue, too, that I didn't want to miss. Just gotta rewatch it. That's fine, what I'll be editing. Phineas Nigellus Black. Prepare yourself to meet the headmaster. Fig, nice of you to join us. The sorting ceremony is over. There were... complications. Complications? It seems the goblin Enough. problem has... Goblins. I've no time for rumors, Fig, and I'm rapidly losing whatever patience I had left. If you're lucky, we might still be able to get you sorted this evening. All right. Thank you, <clears throat> Professor. I'll be in touch. Yeah, please do, because you only you really know what just ha what happened. Only you know what went down. Well, I never seen a black man with dreads before. Professor Weasley, what's up with y'all? Welcome. You're just in time. Have a seat. Ah. A bit older than the others, aren't you? A little bit. You come here with preferences and preconceptions. Certain expectations. Why are you reading my head like this? Get out my head. I'm looking forward to exploring Hogwarts and the world beyond the castle and grounds. Hmm. Indeed. Much can be gleaned by having an adventurous spirit, but your professors have a great deal to teach you as well. Hmm. I wonder... Hmm. I detect something in you. A certain sense of... Hmm. What is it? sense of adventure? I like to think that I'm not afraid of anything. Mm. Oh, but you're brave at heart. Not Exceptionally really. daring. Undaunted by the unknown. Willing to forge ahead alone when you must. Perhaps you belong in Gryffindor. I mean, I guess I, huh? I thought I was gonna get something else, but I guess I got Gryffindor. I guess I'll accept. Better be Gryffindor. Dude, I would have never thought.
I would have never thought. Oh, and one more thing. Due to the unfortunate injury on the pitch in last spring's final, this year's Quidditch season has been cancelled. Why? Enough. It's not as though I've banned flying altogether. But don't tempt me. Nah, you still are fly. here don't to play focus with me. on your academic futures. I'm sure you will have plenty to do before classes begin tomorrow. I want to explore. I said, I'm sure you all have plenty to do before classes begin tomorrow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Quite an entrance. It's Weasley. Too. I'm Professor Weasley. Would you be so kind oh, as to show our new Weasley. student to their common room? I shall see to it, sir. Mm, Weasley, Weasley. As I was saying, I'm Professor Weasley. Pleased to meet you. Pleased nice to meet you, too. As, well, Professor. as deputy headmistress, it is my distinct honor to show you to your common room. Right this way. It's most uncommon for a student to begin as a fifth year. This should be quite an adventure. I'm looking forward to it. I remember the first time I entered the Gryffindor common room after being sorted. You were a Gryffindor. I am Pictures, a Gryffindor. Pictures, please stop moving in the background. You're freaking me Never out. I could remember the password when I was a girl, however. Password? Password? The password is Grata Domum. Grata Domum. Grata Domum. You may enter. Ooh! Well done. Maybe now, she has. She might have the hair. She might have the hair. You have a big day ahead of you. There's tomorrow. something about it. It's something about it. To collect you for your first class. Thank you, Professor Weasley. You're welcome. I hope you enjoy your first night at Hogwarts. Sleep well. E Looks like everyone's gone. Better head to the common room. I guess so. I guess so. There's so much in here, though. It looks so good. The whole room looks so amazing. Like, look at this. Everything looks great. Oh, wow. The apples. Apples? You got some apples? Apples look great. Everything looks so good. You pick that name at random? Yeah, my name is Jeff. No, I know I chose this name. I chose this name. Don't forget the last F. Don't forget the third F. Name is Jeff Willis. Don't forget it, bud. Don't forget it. All right. Jeff Willis is on the way. I don't. I think I'm going the wrong way. I don't know where I'm going actually. Now, which way is the common room? That's a good question. We'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. Yo, what's up, guys? Hey, I'm new here. How's everybody? In the globe. Yo, what's up? What's up? What's up? All right, never mind then. Goddamn. Yo. Why is everyone so highly strung? It's perfectly safe. I don't know about Well, hello. Don't mind me. I find it helpful to change my point of view now and again. Put things in perspective. Once I made it to the top of Gryffindor Tower, from the outside, without a broom. That doesn't Goodness. sound safe. How the hell did you do that? <laughs> I'm Nelly, by the way. Nelly Ogspire. I've heard rumors about Name what happened yeah. to you on your way to Hogwarts. Don't forget the third F. About the <laughs> dragon. <laughs> By the way, I heard rumors about what happened to you in the, on your way to Hogwarts. Is it true about the dragon? Uh, true. Yes, our carriage was attacked by a dragon. Crikey, I can't believe it. How thrilling. And also terrifying. Yeah, she's a thrill anyway, seeker. She's you've certainly brought end. some much needed excitement to Gryffindor. Yeah, and Hogwarts for that matter. Ah, oh, nice to meet you. Uh... I'd imagine most students have never seen a dragon. Have you? Goodness, no. 
And I'd never heard of one attacking a carriage like that. Not enough meat in a carriage, I'd think. Yeah, no, just a lot of wood. What exactly are the rumors about my journey to Hogwarts? Uh, that you escaped a dragon attack? <laughs> Isn't that enough? Most of us arrive via train or boat. Not having just escaped the jaws of a dragon. Of course it's got people talking. Word travels well, how the hell did you get here? Hogwarts. Going through a cart in a wall? I take it you're not afraid of heights. Hmm, it's something I've always done since I was little. My mother once found me on the roof when I was five. Still has no idea how I got there. But with all the strange hallways and rooms in the castle and everything lurking in and outside the grounds, you don't need to scale a tower to see something incredible here. Is that right? Well, that's the nice I'm sure I'll be you. seeing you around, either in our common room or when you <laughs> scale your next tower. <laughs> you never know. That was the longest conversation ever. Goddamn. Yeah, you have problems. Get your ass down before you break your damn neck. Are you doomed? Oh, perhaps I should. I don't know what I'm doing wrong. It's not a complicated spell. I should be able to do it non-verbally. Why is this not working? Oh! Oh, hello there. Welcome to Gryffindor. I'm Cressida. Appreciate it. Appreciate it, Cressida. Splendidly theatrical arrival to the sorting ceremony last evening. Made it in by the skin of your teeth. Is it true that you're Professor Fig's protege? I mean, not really, but... No, I, I merely studied with him briefly before we arrived. Blast! I was hoping he might have given you some advice on non-verbal casting. Is that what you were trying to do just there? Oh, yes. Having a spot of trouble. I've mastered the charm using its incantation, but this is proving a bit trickier. I'm pretty sure you got it. Don't worry, we'll get it in the end. Oh, I hope so. If I can get it, Professor Ronan's sure to be very impressed. I'm just going to keep at it. Well, good luck with it. It was nice. To I'm not about to do no long ass well. dialogues no Enjoy more. Enjoy your first day. We had enough with the first talk with the first female. That was the longest dialogue ever. House chest. Swing that wand, boy. Wang it. You'll like it. Trust me. There's a lot of you Weasleys in here, aren't there? Sure, you don't want to try it? You wouldn't be Where related to the mistress up there that I just happened to Hello. show You're me around the, the building. Year. Pleased to meet you. I'm Gareth Weasley. Heard about your travels here. Can't believe it. Glad you and Fig are all right. Is it true that someone from the ministry was with you in the carriage? Oh, oh uh, yeah. Yes. He, he, he's kind of gone. Professor Figs. Yeah, he's kind of gone. Oh. Didn't mean to pry. Nasty business, dragons. Again, very glad you're here. Thank you, Gareth. <laughs> so am I. Are you related to Professor Weasley? I am. She's my aunt. Oh, okay. She's your aunt. Great. Well, Must might be, be nice. nice having an aunt for a professor. You'd think so, wouldn't you? A little bit. Aunt Matilda tends to treat me as if I'm a first year. Keeps too close an eye on me. It's all a bit suffocating, to be honest. Aunt Matilda? Still, she <laughs> means well. And she's an incredibly powerful witch. She'll have your back. Yeah, that's, that's what I'm guessing. That's what I'm guessing. Seems you enjoy brewing. Might I assume that you've a talent for potions of all sorts? Well, as I see it, there's little difference, fundamentally, between brewing a modification to Butterbeer and a Wiganweld potion. Though, I'm not certain Professor Sharp would make the connection. He doesn't appreciate my, uh, creativity as much as you might think. Is that right? What's that in your mug? Are you having butterbeer for breakfast? Hmm? Oh no. I've been perfecting a recipe I came up with over the summer. I'm almost there, based on some reactions that may need a bit more work. Yeah. Hey, it's nice well, meeting you, nice Garrett. Meeting you're, you're, you're a different... Thank you for the you're insights a different on your site. You're a different site, you Garrett. As well. Good luck today. You're a different site, Garrett. You, Gryffindor. Professor Weasley's waiting for you outside the common room. All right, thank you. This is weird. I gotta crouch through it. Good morning. I trust you're ready for your first day at Hogwarts. I've been dreaming of this day for a long time. Can't believe I'm here. Well, you are here. Make the most of it. You only have one first day at Hogwarts. Now, in light of your unique situation, joining us as a fifth year, 
You'll need to catch up with your classmates and not fall behind. Especially as you'll be expected to complete your OWLs at the end of the year. OWLs? Owls? Yes, your ordinary wizarding level exams. They will determine what type of career you can have when you leave here. After much discussion with the headmaster and the Department of Magical Education at the Ministry, we've devised something extraordinary to ensure your success. What if I don't want to follow that path, though? Here you are. What is it? It is a wizard's field guide. It will help you to keep track of what you are learning so that you master all that's expected of a fifth year. You would be wise to take full advantage of this exceptionally valuable resource. All right, will do. Thank you, Professor, but what do you mean it will keep track of what I'm learning? Perhaps seeing it in action will answer any questions you may have. Walk with me and we shall put it to the test. This way. I'm following, I'm following. The guide will give you He's opportunities them, uh... to practice your magic and educate yourself about wizarding law. Whoa. Loading over my head, I buddy. certainly would have appreciated something like the field guide when I was a student. Using Word. the guide will also train you to be alert to your surroundings. Do keep up. Oh, I'm keeping up. I'm right behind you, Professor. Don't worry. Aha! The guide appears to have some information on for you about safe. that painting of poor Barufio. What are you talking about? Simply cast Ooh. Revelio on it, and we'll see what the guide Revelio. Says. Portrait of Borufio. This portrait depicts the wizard of Borufio, famed for his brain elixir and an example of what happens when incantations are improperly spoken. He once said S instead of F and found himself on the floor with a buffalo on his chest. Haha! -ha! A buffalo on his chest. Whatever that means. You just locked the field up with a little guide challenge. Your progress towards completing challenge of birds here. Field guide only a way to experience points or XP. This is your wizarding level XP. Learn from challenges to increase your level and power. Your field guide tracks your current challenge progress. Select the challenge menu to continue. Got you. Field guide. Collecting your field guide unlocked a new challenge category. New challenges unlocked throughout your challenge will appear here. Hmm. Okay. Words must be clean from the challenge and back off thing you have unlocked. Okay. Alright. Portrait of Barufio. Keep your eyes open for more opportunities like that. Inside and outside of the castle. Revelio. It's a lock. Level one lock. No time to waste. You've classes to attend. What is this? Can I open this? Ooh, I got some coins. All right. Oh, yeah, we in. We locked in, baby. I can't really run right now, but hey, we locked in, baby. Ah, good timing. Perfect opportunity to show you how to use blue flames to get around a bit quicker. Blue flames. Your field guide contains a map of the castle. Open Spend it up, up and find central, central hall. hall. All right. Open map. Hogwarts is divided into two main areas. The left side of the map is where students and professors live and includes the house, common rooms, and the great hall. Okay. So I'm guessing the right side is where everybody else lives. Like a still out. Okay. In this view, you can see the blue flames available in that region. Green blue flames represent you have discovered, including your own house, common room. Gray blue flames reveal the location of undiscovered flames. The right side of the map is where you'll find academic points of interest, including astronomy tower, library, and greenhouses. We'll do library. Professor Woozy unlocked the central hall. Blue flames for you. 
used to rotate mm, fast travel all right okay nice hell yeah hey i couldn't even read it damn you game damn you and here we are quite the time saver these stairs lead That's directly whoa. to central hall all right there we go you can get almost anywhere in the castle quickly from central hall is that right always something happening here it's the heart of the hive our king's cross station so to speak that should be all for now you'll be expected to attend both charms and defense against the dark arts classes today and I'd like to be sure you get to Hogsmeade as soon as possible to replace the supplies you lost on the way here. Can you tell me more about charms, classes, what exactly is defense against the dark art? What's Hogsmeade? You mentioned Hogsmeade, Professor. Hogsmeade is the only all wizarding village in Britain and is home to an array of shops and pubs. You should be able to find all of the school supplies you require in Hogsmeade. You will also, I imagine, enjoy many a butter beer there with friends in due course. Okay. Can you tell me more about the Defense Against the Dark Arts class? Defense Against the Dark Arts, as the name implies, focuses on how to defend oneself against the evils that lurk beyond these walls. Oh, so they're trying to defend against, against, against somebody like me. Is required for those who aspire to become auras. Fortunately, we are lucky to have the ever gifted professor. Because you know, I'm a snake up in these walls. I'll be slithering and ripping all through them walls. I'll be. Hey, 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 Spells, charms, jinxes, all terribly useful. I think you will enjoy Professor Ronan. He's a clever and entertaining wizard and a talented teacher. All right. Well, thank you, Professor. Thank you, Professor Weasley. A lot to absorb on your first day. And you have much, much to, to learn. learn, indeed. Happily, indeed. your professors have agreed to create additional assignments for you outside of class. You'll be up to speed in no time. Judging by your adept use of Revelio earlier, I'd say Professor Fig succeeded in at least showing you the basics. He did, Professor. He's been terribly vague as to the events preceding your arrival, specifically about what happened after that awful dragon attack mind your business my suspicion is that there's more to the story than a search for belongings and an extended trip up to the castle i'm sorry professor but i'm afraid that's all there is to it hmm almost precisely what professor fig said speak of the devil professor fig your ears must have been burning oh <laughs> yes you seem to have provided our new fifth year with a solid foundation in the basics of spellcasting. Ah, I'm afraid I can't take all the credit there, Professor. They've a rare aptitude for magic, it seems. Hmm. Seeming some like that. Well, I'm just glad you both arrived in one piece. Are you Perfectly now? good boats and carriages to Hogwarts, and you chose to fly in the path of a dragon. I wouldn't say I chose the dragon. See, path, I don't really Professor. like you, Weasley. Rather unfortunate. You seem really snaky. Seem that it chose us. Very well. Enough chit chat. I need to get to class myself. Might I rely on you, Professor Fig, to explain the details of the field guide's map? Weasley seems a little bit of, a little interesting. He sounds a little interesting. Good luck today, and remember to use your field guide. It will be invaluable to you and invaluable to me as i'll be using it to keep up to date on your progress yes professor appreciate Come it professor find me in my classroom after you've attended both classes today and i'll explain more about those assignments i mentioned and all right we'll thank you can't get you to hogsmeade for those supplies appreciate all the all the help you've been giving me it's good to see you professor and you i was hoping our paths would cross today before you immersed yourself in studies. Did I hear you masterfully evade Professor Weasley's interrogation regarding our late arrival? Uh. I did my best, but I'm fairly certain she suspects that we're not being entirely forthcoming. Yes, well, Professor Weasley is a brilliant and astute witch. It was right to keep the details to yourself for now. 
We don't know where this path we've embarked upon will lead. It may require a bit more flexibility with your time than she would approve of. And she may feel obliged to share details with the headmaster that would be better left between us. Understood, Professor. Good. Now, as capable as you are, I believe the ability you possess obliges you to be well-trained. Happily, you have the benefit of an exceptionally skilled team of witches and wizards to guide you. <laughs> Speaking of <laughs> guides, and so that I may avoid another not-so-subtle reproof from Professor Weasley, why don't I show you the clever enchantment we included in the field guides map? Unfold it and have a look. All right. You can try open map. This represent main quest. Completing main quest further the story. Unlock new features. Grant XP. Some quests are locked by spell or level requirements. In this case, you'll need to be require a level or have a required spell to activate the quest. New spells can be earned by completing professor's assignments or as quest rewards. Got you. Thank you. Uh, defense against dark arts class. Charm class. The map is enchanted to help you find your way. This will be incredibly helpful. Thank you. Now, sounds like you've quite a day ahead, what with classes and a trip to Hogsmeade for supplies, including your own wand. You'll enjoy Mr. Ollivander. He's an exceptional craftsman and a good friend. I shall reach out when I have more information about our mysterious locket. For now, focus on your classes and pay attention. More than your owls may hinge on the magic you are able to master within these walls. All right. With that all being said, let's go. Hell yeah. I'm so ready for this. I'm so ready for this. Um, all right. But so far, I'm really liking this game. I'm really liking this game a lot. Just with all the little details and everything. The little... Ah, how sassy they get. Yeah, like, what is dude doing? Dude's just juggling through. Like, there's just so many random gimmicks in here and just stuff. Like, this is so cool. But speaking to everybody, if y'all want to see more playthroughs, even when I finish this playthrough, just let me know. Like, I'll definitely probably play more playthroughs of this. Do different houses. We'll do all types of stuff. Let me know. Is that all you've got? Yeah. Let me also. Professor Hackett! Perhaps you'd be good enough to blast each other to pieces in your own time. I get new students every year, but I only have one Hebridean black skull. Uh. It was a token from the great poacher raid of 1878. No doubt you've heard of it. Now, you may be asking yourself how an old woman like me single-handedly took out the largest poacher ring in eastern Wales and lived to boast about it. Knowledge. Knowledge. To the wise, age matters very little. Today we will review a spell that has saved me from death at the hands of dark wizards more times than I care to remember. Levioso. Levioso. A levitation charm. Levioso. A surprise. Now what do you do? As a weak opponent, care to defend yourself, Master Pruitt? No. One thing I've learned <laughs> as an unspeakable is the value of simplicity, especially in the heat of battle. Simplicity. Now, let's practice what we've just learned, starting with something small. Levioso. Okay. Levioso. Levioso. Oh. If you know, you know. Let's try something a little larger. All right. Oh, you got me the head of the class right now, huh? All right, Professor. All right, Professor. Let us begin with the basic cast. See how the dummy deflected your cast? This time, cast Levioso first, then the basic cast. Remember, 
A surprised opponent is a weak opponent. As Master Pruitt so artfully helped me demonstrate earlier. Let me open. Now, the basic cast. Bow. Well done. Bow. Bow. Yeah. Very good. But the best way to practice is by dueling. Okay. We'll start with you two. Duelist, take your marks. All Sorry right. for a proper Hogwarts welcome. Now, <laughs> I want to Oh, you cocky with it, huh, little so buddy? Basic cost you cocky with and it. And Protego. You may begin. I don't know if you if you seen somebody like me, but I've been doing this. I've been doing this. I know. I've been this doing this. Your first duel. Let's just say I'm a quick <laughs> I've been doing this, little buddy. I've been doing this, little buddy. Not bad for a beginner. You give as good as you get. Yeah, whatever that's supposed to mean. Yeah, just keep on walking by, little buddy. Keep that chuckle on. Keep on moving. Keep that chuckle on. Keep on moving. And you rose I'll give you that work. Points to Gryffindor. Thank you, Professor Hackett. Glad to have the opportunity to practice. If what I've seen today is any indication, we can expect great things from you. I demand excellence from my students. They are capable of achieving it, and they must achieve it. I mean, if that's what you expect, then I mean, that's just the bare minimum, Professor. Dark wizards, or that's as the bare minimum. likely goblins, is a different kettle of Grindelows entirely. Understood, Professor. So, I'd advise you to keep practicing whenever you can. Perhaps Mr. Sallow will have some ideas for you. Again, well done today. I shall reach out soon with additional assignments. All, All right, thank you, right. Professor. That's enough spectacle for one day. Class is dismissed. All right. That's what I'm talking about. Huh. Always thought Levioso was for first years. Not anymore. All right. Nice work. I enjoyed that. Well, that duel was quite something. Everyone will be talking about it. Yeah, it was you know. good practice. It was cool. Practice. It felt more like I was dueling an expert. Sebastian Salo, by the way, didn't oh, expect so you're coming around, to be so deft with a wand. Yeah, you know. Then again, it's just some, perhaps this some wasn't your first duel. I mean, I've had my fair share. I dueled enough. Consider yourself lucky I held back. Consider yourself huh. lucky. Fair enough. You owe me an honest duel when you aren't. You know, you might be a perfect fit for a certain exclusive, unsanctioned dueling organization. Dueling organization sounds in, sounds intriguing. Exclusive and unsanctioned. Count me in. Excellent. Knew I was right about you. If sounds you want intriguing. to get the most out of your time at Hogwarts, you're going to need to break the rules now and then. Is that right? Whether it's joining a secret dueling club or sneaking into the restricted section of the library. Oh, I like you, you Sebastian. To be enough I kind of like you. Caught. Thank you, Sebastian. Full time. I'll keep that in mind. Like they say, it's not cheating if Pleasure you can't get, you. if you don't I'm get sure caught. You soon. Perhaps somewhere unsanctioned. We'll see not if your performance if you don't today get was caught. sheer luck or actual skill. Look for Luke and Brattleby near the clock tower entrance. If you're interested. All right. Till next time. You drilled Sebastian. He's strong competition. Well done. Is he? Well. That's pretty cool. Professor. Oh, I can just pull up my book like that. Oh. Revelio. All right. Let's pull out our book again. Cause I like walking my book out. Make me feel like an actual scholar in Hogwarts. Like an actual squalor. Like an actual scholar in Hogwarts. I be feeling like a scholar in Hogwarts. Stop playing with me. Oh, my frames. Jesus.
Is we good, Hogwarts? Whoa. Your stream is experiencing issues. Your stream quality is good. That's really weird. I don't know why it's doing that. Um, Hogwarts. What's up with you, man? What's up with you, man? I don't even got you in that high of settings, man. Yeah, it's very studious. It's affecting your stream, too. Yeah, I see. Maybe it's just like the hallway because we're fine and we're fine right here. It's like I think it's like the hallway. The hallway is just really just that hallway right there is just really buggy. I think we just had to get out of it real quick. I think that's what it is. Cause uh it seems fine right now. Maybe it was just me, my stream just dropping. I don't know. Maybe we just had a dropping moment. I think we're good now. Alright. Professor Ronan tends to go on a bit. Well, I didn't mean to push you out the way, but your ass was just... You're moving slow. Here. Behind you. There is an open seat here. Thank you. All right, thank you. My name Hello. is Jeff. Don't I forget the F. So What's you up, Natty? I like your voice. You, you, from, you from the <laughs> Africa. You from Africa. Where are you from? Northwest? Shall we begin? Probably from the west, thank <laughs> you. Welcome to year five of chant. Now, this will be a crucial year in your education on the art of You know, shout work. out to the Black but Queen. I shout out to the Black Queen for the show. That we will take hold with a passion and rigor requisite of such a challenge. Right? Now, everyone, please open your textbooks to page 517. But before we begin, can anyone here tell me the difference between the incantations of the color change and growth charms. Oh. Anyone? Anyone? No, not mm -hmm. yet. I'm looking at this damn book, though. Uh, 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 I am afraid it is too late to study now. Well, I guess mm. now we we'll see. Now it's cheating. The summer months must have really caught. taken a toll on you all. <laughs> By the looks of it, you all spent your holidays practicing obliviate on one another. <laughs> Uh, what are you talking about? Do you even remember how to perform a basic summoning charm? Hmm? What are you talking about, man? Hmm. Well, it seems that we are in dire need of review. Everyone get into pairs and take positions on opposite sides of the classroom. I got my pair. Now let's put those textbooks to use as the blunt objects you so believe they are and take turns summoning them out of one another's hands. Only one book will be needed per partnership, Miss Dale. Thank you. Get into place now. All right. Let's go, Natty. Akio. Akio. Akio, boy. That is not bad. You are a swift learner. If you know, you know. I see a lot of potential, but remember, potential is nothing without practice. Keep at it. You might just rival Miss Onai here. Very good, everyone. That's enough of that. Well, as you all seem to have the basics down and it is an exceptionally lovely day, I was thinking that we might have ourselves a little excursion outside for a spot of fresh air. After me. <laughs> oh, I'm so hyped to play this. I'm so ready. Yo, how's he? Welcome into the stream. Welcome into the stream. You know, we got this Hogwarts legacy. We got accepted. We got accepted, I've baby. I've found that fun goes hand in hand with mastery, as I'm sure the Quidditch players amongst us would agree. Hmm? <laughs> so, what better than... How's the day? I hope everything is well. Hope you're hydrated and eating everything. With the summoning charm to the test, right? <laughs> wow. <laughs> so why don't we have our newest students start us off? Hmm? Okay. Very 
simply cast Accio on one of the spheres and relinquish your charm at the last possible moment. Now, let me walk uh, back and forth like to exert my dominance, stones, if you will. But instead of throwing the marbles out, you are summoning them toward you. The trick is to pull the sphere as far as possible, but not a bit more, or it'll fall. Yes. Now I could keep talking about theory all day, but practice is the best, Professor. Show us how it's done. Akio. Very good. Splendid. Yeah. That's it. Stay focused. Damn. Messed up. Very good. Points to Gryffindor. But there's certainly no sport in playing without some friendly competition. Miss Onai, would you care to give our new student a bit of a challenge? Come on up. I mean, if you can top me, then come top me. I love yeah, the hairstyle for black people in the game. Before, like, yeah, Onai, we got some good hairstyle. Look at like the dreads even got parts. Yes, sir. Bro, I got parts in my dreads. You can literally see the parts. Like, that's crazy. Job. Not bad. There not you bad. go. All right. Akio. You gotta go. What you? You gotta say. Very good. You gotta Here say, Nadi. Go. You gotta say, Nadi. Oh, you wanna go across? All right. I'll show you some across. That's I'll show you some done. across. I'll show you some across. Ugh. I Stop playing. Ugh. Ugh. Quite impressive. I ain't it. I ain't it. I do this. Not bad. Not bad. I already won though. But hey. Yes. I give you. I give you props. I give you props for trying. I give you props for trying. Ugh. Beat it. Beat it. Yeah. Perfect score. Remarkable. Right? I do this. Yeah. Points to Gryffindor. <laughs> Let us make this a bit more interesting, shall we? Mighty Jack. Don't forget the third F. Not playing. <laughs> oh wow! I think we are well past interesting at this. Yeah, point. we getting well, we professor. We going kind of crazy say. now, aren't we? Enough chatter. Focus now. You will need it. This round settles it all. All right, professor. You got me focused. Let us see this. I'm focused. I'm focused, professor. There we go. I'm ready, professor. Wow. I'm ready, Professor. Splendid. I'm ready, Professor. Here we go. I'm ready, Professor. I'm on it. Phew. Hey, you gonna get off my my, my George Washington 13? You don't get off my George Washington 13s. They cold. Brilliant. Yeah, you know, I've been, I've been doing this. I've been doing this. You know, I'm walking around and starting my dominance. My dominance. Good that job, Nadi. Is, is it? Well, I'll show you this. Even with it hitting it. Even with it hitting it. Yeah. Thought those was a bit table. <laughs> Very good. Both nah, these, of you. these are well the Washington. Done. I just, uh, these are the Washington. You know, they even got the symbol on the bottom and all. You got, you got to check them out. They got the nice leather on the side of them. Wraps around. Make sure your pinky toe don't hurt and everything. You know, with the Beethovens, they they kind of make Fast my heel hurt. They kind of too flat. I gotta have like a little arc in them. I gotta have like a little arc. Good game back there. 
I must admit, I think I underestimated you. Maybe a little took bit. Took me weeks to become proficient with Akio. Took weeks for me to get anything right when I transferred here. It gets easier, I promise. Well, this is just the bare minimum if you guys are expecting a lot. Well, but I'm holding my own. Thank you, but I've been holding my own. I appreciate your confidence. I transferred here from Wagadu just before my fourth year. My mother received an offer to teach. I to love her me. accent. Before oh my met, god. We had left Uganda and were halfway around the world at a new school in a new country. Ooh. Is Wagadu much bigger than Hogwarts? <laughs> Wagadu School of Magic is the largest wizarding school in the world. So yes, bigger than Hogwarts. But it never seemed intimidating or overwhelming to me. It always felt like home. Okay. Is Wagadu a castle like Hogwarts? Its address is Mountains of the Moon. Mountain of the Moon. It is not so much a castle as a beautiful edifice carved out of the mountainside. So you live on a mountain side. I remember the first time I saw it, the mist was so thick I could hardly make out anything at all. And so then it's it like just hidden. Okay. before me, this enormous school that seemed to be floating in midair. Oh, it sounds beautiful. This may seem an odd question, but is magic the same there as it is here? Sounds very beautiful. Mostly yes, but I did have to learn how to use a wand when I arrived here. Hardly anyone at Wagadu uses one. Oh, okay. Incredible. You can cast spells without a wand. Oh, yes. I find wandless magic to be much more instinctive. Not to mention quite convenient if one is without their wand. I must admit, however, that I am growing quite fond of using a wand. It seems very dramatic. Incredible. It's nice to learn about another wizarding school. Thank you for asking. I do miss Wagadu. But I am glad to be here at Hogwarts. Ah, I think Professor Ronan wants to talk to you. Better not keep him waiting. Whole time? Until next time. Until next time, Nadi. Until next course, time. It was nice to you meet you. You wanted to it speak with me, Professor. I did. I trust your first charms lesson lived up to expectation? Well, an outdoor competition wasn't exactly the lesson I was expecting, sir. What charm is there in the expected? You did well, managing to best as gifted a student as Miss Onai. Thank you, Professor. I enjoyed the match. Miss Onai is always a fierce competitor, though I sense that she is a bit distracted of late. <clears throat> now, Professor Weasley has asked that your professors give you instruction outside of the ordinary curriculum. Ordinary Expect curriculum? To hear what we got going on? Regarding a special assignment that I am preparing for you. What you talking about, Professor? The ordinary curriculum? What we got going on? Stop trying to show me. What's up? You look Professor like Potter. reminds me of my grandfather. Loads of wisdom. Are you Potter? But a bit mad. Oh, well, everybody just seems... They just left. After my brother learned the summoning charm, it was constant. Accio this, Accio that. Cutlery flying everywhere. Quite unsafe, really. Yeah, no, that sounds quite unsafe. That sounds very unsafe. I'm sorry you have to deal with that. Not really, because I actually don't care. <laughs> Bring on my book. Hello there. We're the today is school. student, aren't you? Uh, yeah, who are you? Hello, you wanted to speak to me? Samantha Dale. I've been eager to meet you. You're the student everyone's been whispering about. Hope whispering about me? Well. Why you little old me? Seem to hold your what own have jobs. I done? I've been fortunate. Beginner's luck. <laughs> My brother William would tell you not to be so humble and to trust your abilities. Then again, he tends to be overconfident in his. Well, I'll well, let's let not meet him. Charms homework. I'm afraid I can't count on beginner's luck to impress Professor Ronan. If you call that impressed, then shoot. Maybe I'm doing something good. Shoot. All right. I believe in myself. Handy resource and indeed. The werewolves during the goblin rebellion. rebellion. Werewolves, where were you? In the Goblin Rebellion what is of 1752. And by the, end of it, the Minister for Magic was Albert Boot. No, it wasn't. Mm. 
That's oh, awkward. Oh, fun. I won't say my goodbyes. I should cheer for the boy who says you're telling I'm lies. I'm not telling lies, Peeves. What is dude Albert talking Boots. about? Dude's just floating. Oh, Boots yeah. Let slack. me go. Okay. I don't, I don't know what is going on here. All right. I think we're going to the cat. Kitty. Stop it, Peeves. You'll get us in trouble. Aw, oh, little kitty cat. Little kit cat. All right, Kitty. See you around, Kitty. I got stuff to do. I think. I'm going the wrong way. Definitely going the wrong way. We're going to just go.